Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to our channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you on how I make my YouTube thumbnails. This is my process that I do every single time I upload a video on YouTube and if you want to copy my process or use Canva as well, please stay tuned and watch this video until the end because I'm going to make a tutorial for you guys and also I'm going to post a link in the description below for the Canva free trial for 30 days. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay guys, now I'm here in Canva. I've been in Canva guys for I think three years now. I did the yearly subscription and now I'm using Canva for like pretty much all that I do when it comes to editing photos and making like, you know, cute graphics and stuff, high quality graphics because Canva has a very easy interface, you guys, that you can use even if you are a complete beginner. So let's do the thumbnail making right now. Okay, now we are here. Like as you can see, I have projects already going on here, but we're gonna make a new one just so you guys will see. And you can search YouTube thumbnail in here. Okay, and click this specific one. It's 1280 by 720 pixels. That is the that is the size that YouTube wants in our thumbnail so we're gonna stick with it now right on this side there are a lot of templates that you can use so we're going to choose one and I have my own kind of template that I use but for the sake of this tutorial we will use a different one okay now we are going to pick one that will stand out okay I kind of like this one Okay, look at that thumbnail. It's really nice. Like all the colors here are really popping out. Okay, first, if you are a complete beginner, you can totally just edit like the elements in here, this picture here, and replace it with your picture. So you don't have to be confused with what you're going to do. Like just edit it, like, you know, replace this text with yours, with your video title and stuff. And also you can replace the colors. Just replace the colors, anything you want. You don't have to move these elements if you want. So now we're going to do that. I'm going to delete this picture first. Now it's deleted. And I'm going to upload mine that I got for now if you see this picture is totally like you cannot like, just put it in there and like go on with it you have to edit this picture first so what you're going to do is remove the background so we're gonna go to edit photo and BG remover or background remover now guys if you will use canva free you cannot use the remove background feature so if you are serious with your youtube channel if you're serious with making videos online i would highly suggest for you to subscribe to canva is really worth it as i've said i've used it for years now and i'm so happy that i did Okay, if you did that, you can just go in here and click the undo button. There you go. Now, I'm just going to reset it a little bit bigger, like so. And the previous girl here has like a white outline and here's how to do it. Go click the picture and edit photo and you go and find the... Here, you're gonna go to the shadows and we're gonna go to the outline now as you can see it's already have a black outline but we're gonna change it to white okay white is here in the very first uh, in, in this very corner here and you know that it's white white because this one is f f f f f <laughs> so here you go as you can see it's already white outline now this is too big for me, so I'm going to reduce the size of the outline like so. I think I like that one now. The size is too big for like, you know, that would be fine. And if you want this photo to pop up a little bit more, you're gonna, I'm gonna go to adjust this picture's um, contrast. That's what I do every single time. 
okay just like that i guess and just adjust this however you like now because i kind of don't like this thingy in here i'm just going to delete that and also this star right here and i'm going to change these colors so guys i have brand colors in here this is one thing that i like about canva because they have this brand kit where you can pre populate these colors your brand colors or colors that you want and you can use it every single time without having to figure out the code for these colors so it's all here this is our balaba farm colors so now i'm going to replace this background with this or this i guess see that's really nice now this blue i'm gonna use our blue and i have this option to change all of this blue to this blue so i'm going to click change all see this is what i like about canva because it's very user friendly and now okay this i'm happy with this yellow right here i'm not gonna change that now let's go and change this video title so for this video the title of this video is reasons why we are living paycheck to paycheck so i'm going to do that so i'm not happy with this case if you're a beginner you can just like keep it keep it like this like you don't have to move this thing but since i know like this is not how i like it so i'm gonna change this into like that and move this box this text so that it's centered okay i can i can do this and go to position in center in middle see okay now let's move it a little bit down and now i'm going to move this thing down here and just move this up here like so and then move this back in here now i'm gonna reasons why we are li living this is too big it's going to this is this is too big so i'm going to reduce the size about 42 paycheck just see this thing in here there I, i'm kind of happy with this now so yeah that's how you edit your thumbnails guys i kind of like this one hmm. i think i'm gonna stick with this for my thumbnail because let me take you to my thumbnails so here are my videos and this is this these are my current thumbnails now look at this hmm. now i'm contemplating if i'm going to change my thumbnails because this for me looks a bit messy and this is very clean so i think what i'm going to do is add the elements that i use every time this one i use this maple leaf in here just to signify that i am in canada and the content is for like you know filipino canadians so oh i'm just gonna put it in here there we go that looks so clean change this into pink instead ok 
Okay, I kind of like this thumbnail. Let me see. Now, the next thing, if you're happy, if you're done with it, guys, you can download it just like what I'm doing right here. This one transparent, you want to leave it unchecked because you want your colors and everything that is shown in here to show up in your downloaded picture but if you want to have the background all white you can check this one but you are free trial i'm not sure if you can do this one because this feature is for um, paid users so we're gonna keep it on like that and now just download it i'm going to download it as png because as you can see it is suggested like that because this picture has a lot of text and that is the ideal um, format for this kind of graphics so i'm going to download it right away here okay it's now downloaded and we are going to go to my content and edit this okay now i'm going to upload a thumbnail and pick that one that i just made oh that is so nice you know what i'm gonna stick with this thumbnail i guess from now on hmm okay now you can do whatever like we'll leave it like that i'm gonna do it like later because this tutorial is just for this thumbnail so we're going to save this but unfortunately it's unlisted so you guys could not see it like in here but you can see it from here though oh i don't know you guys if you can see it i guess you can okay now I'm done with that so guys that's how I do my YouTube thumbnail I think I'm gonna stick with this I'm pretty happy with these colors because these are our brand colors and like these that I have in here are just like you know I'm trying to figure out what stands out I'm trying to figure out which one is really good for the eyes which one is you know very attractive and will pursue people to click on the thumbnail to watch the video so this one i'm pretty happy with this it's simple clean and it's very easy to edit because this is what i do every time i just like i just like put my face on there and like edit it a little bit put a put an outline on it so this is what i really do every single time guys and i would just like to add guys that this is where you're going to upload your pictures here as you can see i have like some pictures of us here because this canva is what i use every single time i make graphics like if you visit our facebook page i have a lot of graphics over there and here in youtube and pretty much everywhere like in our website everything everything guys i do use canva for all of those designs that i make and this is how i do it yeah i'm just going to add that if this is not here you can go and add a text like so add a text okay i'm going to show you if you make thumbnail from scratch you're going to say add this page here this is just to show you guys on how to make a thumbnail or a design from scratch okay so now i'm going to replicate this kind of like a similar one without like having the template on itself so this is this is what we have this blue color you can change this color by clicking on it and changing the color from here okay canva will have these things this one here are from from canva and it's pre-populated here you can choose anything you want okay okay for example for the sake of this video this tutorial we will change it into this like nice dusty rose pink there now we're going to add that picture from our uploads okay that's that's me that's me i just took this picture from the video i just kind of like take a snapshot of it and uploaded it here on canva and now we're going to edit that picture make sure it's selected like so and click edit and press i mean click background remover so look at that that's very easy that's very nice now the next thing is you're going to make an outline put an outline i mean so now we're going to press these shadows here and click outline now the outline is black we don't want that or if you want that you can do so but i like white so let's go and change it to white 
and I'm going to change the size just like what I did previously here like that I'm happy with that now I'm going to kind of crop this a little bit like that because we don't need this extra blank space on the side and I'm going to resize it like so and because I want this picture to kind of like you know have some more life on it I'm going to go and adjust the um, contrast here just a tiny bit like that and if you want you can play with these settings here you can play with the saturation and vibrance like you know um, temperature okay we'll, we'll do we'll go with that now I have myself in here we will go and add a text now so press text and there are pre-made text um, combinations here that you can use from Canva creators or designers themselves I guess and you can use this however you like so now we're going to kind of replicate this thing with the text with like a box in here on the back so we're going to do that first I'm going to do is pick a text I want something like this one so now you're going to click it and group and remove this one because we don't want the one on the bottom we're going to remove that and edit this so the title was reasons oh, reasons why now this is too big so we're going to reduce the size still too big and I'm going to change the alignment to center there we go now I don't like that this um, I don't like that the letters are too close to each other so I'm going to go in here spacing and change the letter spacing I think that's a good one move this bit, a little bit reasons why now I'm going to duplicate that and we are leaving duplicate it again paycheck to paycheck okay now this I'm I don't like how these are too close like the top and the bottom words so I'm going to go to spacing and change this line spacing in here there we go now for the boxes like this we are going to go to elements and you can go to lines and shapes and choose this very first element here the shape for the shapes it's just a, like a square um, it will Wait. it will give you this like I don't know you guys if you're gonna have a red one but it always gives me a red one so you're just going to wait I'm going to change the color first because it hurts my eyes I don't like it so we're probably going with something like this okay these are too close to each other though so uh, let's move it now look at this this is not really nice to look at black and then another darker color at the back or on the background so i'm going to change this into white so you just click the text and click the text color and change into white see it's so much better now we're going to click this box and duplicate it as you can see here look at that guys this one is on top of this word which is not what we're going for so we're going to click this box and go to position and click backward see now we can position this text here now 
in the middle of in the center of this box and click the text color again and change it to white and i'm just going to use my arrows on the keyboard to kind of like move it there we go and duplicate a box one more time and change the size now here again it's on top of the words that we want so we're going to click backward again here we go and change this color again okay now i want this box to have a different color just like this it, it has a different color because this is what i want people to see when they see my thumbnail like this is the first like text or phrase that they will see so i'm going to change this into something more popping color like yellow see and change oh i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this like this but i'm just going to resize it a little bit and put it on the center you can also select both and go to position and click center now it's centered and i'm gonna use my arrows on my keyboard to kind of like just move it down a little bit and i'm happy with that now this one here is kind of like um it's like slanted so and i think these are too big as well so i'm going to select all of this and resize it and now move this like so and just because i have that this one the maple leaf element i'm going to add it in here as well see so that's how you do it that's how you make a thumbnail in canva for a few minutes if you are used to doing this guys it's gonna be a breeze for you it's gonna be easy and quick and you don't have to figure out a lot of things just like when you use an application like adobe because those are time consuming and it's just for like the pro <laughs> so for me canva is the best for beginners and intermediate youtube users youtube creators to have a really nice thumbnail that you can create very easily and quickly every single time i think that's gonna be the end of our tutorial for today and i hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do please like and subscribe to this channel and please leave your comments down below if you have any questions and guys don't forget that i'm leaving the link down in the description for the canva 30 days free trial okay Thank you guys for watching. Bye.